We want to translate the uh, classical description of the helium atom into a quantum mechanical description by making appropriate substitutions, changing various quantities into operators. Well, if we remember the um, uh, classically, we had the uh, Hamiltonian was the momentum of the first electron divided by two times the mass of the electron plus the uh, momentum of the second electron squared divided by two times the mass of that electron plus we had each uh, electron interacting with a nucleus so that was a minus uh, and it was the nucleus of a plus two charge so minus two e squared over four pi epsilon naught r1 that's the distance between the first electron and the nucleus and there was a minus two e squared over four pi epsilon naught r1 r2 the second electron and then we had that interaction term e squared over four pi epsilon naught times the distance between the two electrons so if we translate this into quantum mechanics we um, have to make the appropriate substitutions for momentum and also for the distance. Well, the distance, when you go from the classical to quantum mechanical, the operator for distance means just multiply, or in this case, divide by this distance. But the momentum, however, is changed. So let's write this uh, as um, minus h bar squared over 2 times the mass of the electron times del squared. This is, we introduced this when he talked about the hydrogen atom. And this would be the uh, spatial derivatives expressed in a certain coordinate system. The spatial derivatives with this, um, and now we have for the second electron minus h bar squared over two times the mass of that electron times del two squared. So this is the partial derivative with respect to uh, spatial coordinates of the second electron and then we have two times um, sorry let's rewrite it this way minus 2e squared over 4 pi epsilon r1 minus 2e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught r2 plus e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught r12 so there's the quantum mechanical Hamiltonian written in terms of this generalized uh, differential equation, dif differential with respect to spatial coordinates. Okay, so <clears throat> here we are, the Schrodinger equation where uh, H now, the operator H, we have a term for the first electron, we have a term for the second electron, and then we have this interaction term here. We, it's still a central force problem, so if we have, say, plus, uh, um, a plus two charge here at the nucleus, and here we have an electron with a negative charge, and here we have an electron with a negative charge, the forces going back and down here are still uh, central force problems, so we should express our system in terms of spherical coordinates, and in particular, the uh, del operator should be expressed in spherical coordinates. However, as we'll see in the next online video lecture, there's an interaction here which leads to some difficulty in solving the problem. But so far, just formally, looks like we're okay. We'll express uh, del squared in terms of spherical coordinates, r, theta, and phi. So there, we've set up the Schrodinger equation for the helium atom. Now let's see if we can solve it.